In today's market, you can find amazing value from takedown football boots, and some of them can even rival their most expensive alternatives. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at one of the best takedown football boots you can get, the Nike Tiempo Legend 9 Pro. I've personally worn these football boots for several seasons, so I can give you my opinion on playing in them over the past few years. We'll be going over all of the features of these boots, and I can also tell you who I would recommend get the Tiempo Legend 9 Pros. At the end of the video, we're also gonna compare these boots with some others in the same category, Category to see how they stack up against the competition. And if you are interested in picking up a pair of these boots, you can check out the link in the description to the Upper 90 website where you can find them available at a discount. Now let's get into the review. Now we're going to start by talking about the design of the Tiempo Legend 9 Pro, but first I'm going to explain what the takedown structure is for Nike football boots. Generally, there are four categories for Nike football boots that are on the market. There's the top end elite model, then down from that, there's the pro model, then the academy, and then the club. Generally, the elite models start around $200 to $250. The pros are cheaper than that, followed by the academies, then the club models, which usually retail for around $50 to $60. In the case of the Tiempo Legend 9, you can get the elite model for around $200 to $220 whereas the pro model here retails for around half the price at about $130. And as we go through this review, you'll realize that the Tiempo Legend 9 Pro is actually really similar to the more expensive Elite model in many different ways. Starting off with the upper on the Legend 9 Pros, we have a full calf leather upper here, which is really soft. Conversely, the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite has a full kangaroo leather upper, Overall, the uppers do feel very similar between these two boots. Throughout the upper, you have these embedded foam pods, which help cushion your touch on the ball when you're passing, dribbling, or striking it. Then in the instep and the toe box of the boot, you also have a raised textured pattern here with these small dots that help give you just a little bit more grip. The lacing system is centralized and it's fairly traditional with the exception of an elasticated mesh tongue, which is one of my favorite features on this boot. It provides a really good amount of lockdown and stretch. Looking at the base of the boot on the sole plate, you're going to have three options to choose from in Nike's lineup. You can go with an FG sole plate or an AG sole plate, and finally a soft ground or SG sole plate. The sole plate I have on these Tiempo Legend 9 Pros is the AG variation for artificial grass, and it's really well designed. As I've said before, I think Nike makes one of the best AG sole plates. There are 17 conical studs here, which are going to provide great traction on any artificial pitch. The FG sole plate is overall pretty similar, but there's fewer overall studs, and in the heel, there are some bladed studs for more traction on firm ground surfaces. Moving on to the build quality of these boots, I found that the leather feels really high quality and very soft, and although it's calf leather, I can really hardly notice any difference just by feeling it with the more expensive Kangaroo Leather Elite model. Another thing I like about the build on this upper is that there's actually very minimal stitching on the leather. It's almost just a one piece continuous design. So that means that there's not really an opportunity for the upper to break along any seams, which is something that you can see with lower quality stitching. Overall, I think the upper has held up very well for me over time. There is a little bit of dryness and some slight cracking in the upper. That's usually because I've left these boots to dry in the sun. So I do recommend if you own a pair of these boots or any other leather football boots, try and take good care of them. Don't leave them out directly in the sun to dry or else they could be susceptible to cracking. I will note that there has been some sole separation with these boots as well. You can kind of see it, especially around the toe box area here. This is something that I find is pretty hard to avoid with heavy use in any football boots. So I will say, I think that they've held up pretty well over the course of about two seasons. It was really after that second year playing in these that I did start to notice some substantial sole separation. The other elements of the boot, like the elasticated tongue and the sole plate have also held up really well over time. Now that we've touched on the build quality, let's talk about the fit and feel of these football boots. So in my view, the Tiempo Legend 9 Pro is really one of the most comfortable leather football boots that you can get on the market right now. Despite being a leather football boot, which are typically a little bit heavier than synthetic boots, these feel really light on your feet. They're actually still about an ounce lighter than Nike's other leather football boot, the Nike Premier 3. The sole plate feels really snappy and aggressive when you're making short runs on the pitch as well. The lockdown that's provided by the centralized locking system and the elasticated tongue is really great and it feels like your feet are definitely very secure in the boots. 
Through the toe box, there's also a lot of width provided by these boots, which is great for me since I'm a wide-footed player, but whatever the shape of your feet, since these are leather football boots, over time, these will mold to your feet and the fit will only get better. The leather upper on these tiempos is also pretty thin, so when you're dribbling or passing, I think you do get a really nice close feel on the ball and there's a lot of sensitivity provided there. That being said, there's still more protection provided here compared to other boots in the Nike lineup, like the Mercurial or the Phantom GX. So when you inevitably get stepped on like I have many times, at least you'll have a little bit of coverage. And overall, these boots have really just been a joy for me to play in. And now that we've covered what it's like to play in the Tiempo Legend 9 Pro, we are going to talk about some alternatives that are available to this football boot. Now first off, the most popular alternative is probably going to be the more expensive Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. Now as I mentioned, this football boot retails for about $100 more than the Pro that I'm holding right here, and I'd say the only main difference is the leather that's used in the construction, that's going to be a kangaroo leather upper instead of the calf leather upper that I have here. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't actually think that the Elite model is worth that $100 price increase. And that's because all of the features that are in the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite, you can find in the Pro model here. So the sole plate, the elasticated tongue, the memory foam pods, they're all essentially the same between both of these models. And regarding the feel of the leather between both of the models, I really can't notice much of a difference between the calf leather and the kangaroo leather, and I also think the durability with both of them feels the same over time as well. Now on the other side of the coin, we have the lower takedown model, Tiempo Legend 9 Academy. Now this is also a very popular football boot because of its price point of around $70. So you can in theory pick up a pair of the Academies for around $50 less than the pros that I have right here. Now with the Tiempo Legend 9 Academy, you actually do get a very good value football boot. It still has a full calf leather upper and a lot of the features that you see with the Pro model here. However, the biggest difference I will note is probably with the weight, the Tiempo Legend 9 Academy is gonna be a little bit bulkier and feel heavier on feet. There is an additional synthetic layer of material that's within the upper. So it's gonna offer a little bit more protection if that's what you want but it's definitely gonna feel a little bit bulkier and a little bit heavier on feet. If you really need to save money, I think the Academy is a great budget option around the $70 price point, but if you can spend a little bit more than 100, I would go for the pros. And the final comparison I wanted to make is between another popular leather football boot, the Adidas Copa Pure. And in my view, the Copa Pure is Adidas's answer to Nike's Tiempo Legend 9 series. However, these boots actually feel very different from each other. Depending on how you lace them, the Tiempo Legend 9 actually is a pretty relaxed feeling football boot. There's a decent amount of space within this boot and the toe box is wide and accommodating. The Adidas Copa Pure, on the other hand, takes a pretty different approach and it actually has more of a streamlined speed boot feel. The sole plate on the Adidas Copa Pure is even taken from an older Adidas Nemesis football boot, so you know it's gonna have a light and snappy feel. But it's important to know that the Copa Pure is gonna have more of a streamlined, narrow, and tighter fit on feet. But if that tight speed boot feel is what you're looking for, then the Copa Pure might be a great option for you. Also, if you're interested in laceless football boots, Adidas offers a laceless variation of the Copa Pure, which is great as well. At the end of the day, which one of those boots you prefer is going to come down to personal preference. In my opinion, especially since I'm a wide-footed player, I prefer the fit of the Tiempo Legend 9. So finally, who would I actually recommend get the Tiempo Legend 9 Pro? Well, if you're interested in a high-performing leather football boot with modern features at a reasonable price, I definitely think this is one of the best options that you can go for. Additionally, if the Tiempo series intrigues you but you don't want to spend the full $200 for the Elite model, I think that this is one of the best budget versions that you can get. Overall, these boots are just really comfortable and anyone that appreciates a leather football boot would love the Tiempo Legend 9 Pros. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Leave a comment if you did and I will see you on the next video.